side up. We can make a connection whenever you want. Memory Keith 1. We're getting real close to that end. Alright, are you ready? Yeah. I'm just gonna go then. Because, because now, if I if I say anything other than are you ready, and if you say anything, I feel like it's just time to go, because you're just gonna not wait. Resonance area connection established. Are there any problems, Keith? Whoa. So this is what it's like. It's nothing at all like the monitor. So you're okay? Then please investigate the area. All right, boss. Let's find some memory nodes. You're really up about this, Keith. Billy hears what they have to say. Memory node confirmed. Initiating removal. <laughs> Guys, are you going out again today? Yeah. We'll find some food and meds. So hang in there, Keith. We'll be back soon. So hold tight and don't worry. Okay, we'll take care. I believe in you both. This is from when I was still little. I was so weak. My brothers always looked after me. a kid. I could only wait for them to come back from the dangerous places they went for my sake. I'm always worried and lonely. I hated being so powerless. What the hell? Whoa, 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 hold on. Why are they blue now? Oh, wait, what? Oh, this must be because of my weapon. Oh, no, wait, this must be because of Keith. He's got what Seal had. He's showing us the enemy data. Here. This is a week. <laughs> wrecked. Metal G wrecked. Oh my god, wrecked. You know, Keith's weapon is really interesting. Why? I just like the look of it. All that blue to it. I also like Keith's freaking pose right now. He's got it shoved into the ground right there. We yeah, can new words, including sleep deprived. Wait, what? One of the new code words you get is sleep deprived. <laughs> Keith to a T right there. Motherfucker, you're gonna have heart problems. Ugh. <laughs> wow, it was so awesome to see my resonance area with my own eyes. And I think directly touching memory nodes helped me. <laughs> you need a kid or do buzzkill or buy into the excitement. Let's get our sync rate up fast. We can use this momentum to take down some Ashbourne. Buzzkill. Calm down. Uh, you know what? No. All right, let's move. Hold on. It was a joke. Are you seriously getting ready to go? Oh, let me tell you a bit about the voices from the memory nodes. That explains it. Rates improve faster if the observer knows more about the observee. Like you saw, I used to be small and weak, 
and I always relied on my brothers. I wanted to help them too, so I started messing with machinery. I fixed radios and things that should be weapons or defensive tools. Doing that helped out my brothers. That's where it all started for me. Ah, uh, brothers are the best. Still though, I'm not sure I was any real help back then. That just fits like what Willie Ann would say. Anyway, I'll keep working at it for the sake of everyone here. It's not just my brothers. Helping all of you makes me happy. Core Engage will be ours. I'm ready for a mission anytime, boss. Boss. Call me Big Boss. <laughs> Time to go into Keith's thing and read his stuff. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? Keith's stuff isn't at the bottom? It's like right above Neil. Hmm. My big brother Zeke and Neil. They always watched out for me, finding food and medicine and stuff, but I was never able to keep up with them. Sitting at home, coughing, while I waited for them to come back was more of a struggle than any battle. I always wanted to help my brothers out. That desire made me greedily devour information. If it seemed like it would help us survive, I drilled it into my head. I was driven by the fear of becoming a burden to the people dearest to me. So that's mostly Keith's thing, is he was the fear of being a burden and weak. Oof. Anyway, <laughs> we hit the sink rate threshold. Now we can make the next connection. I have a lot of bad memories, but I'll be fine with you there. Sorry to be a burden all the time. I'm glad you're here, though. There he goes with the burden. That must be his big his thing. His problem is that he feels... Uh, Are you ready? ...than everyone else. Deploy. Yeah, I was about ready there. taken to Pennywort. I couldn't use the knowledge I collected. That stung. Man, these poor brothers. Older age too is it has this it has the same voice actor as Neil. They gave me a purpose when I felt completely useless. They were tough and smart and taught me tons of stuff. They gave me the courage to survive in prison, but those two gentle souls died together on a mission. It seems everyone we met back then died. Hello there, you spider boy. Did I ask you to walk away? Ow. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, about the little uh, age difference between like how old our character could be I'm pretty sure we are either one or two years older than he. No, we can't really be older than Hugo, could we? Probably are at least 19 or 18. Or maybe we are the same as Hugo. I don't know. Questions, questions. You 
are a flopping penis. Uh, I'll find something. Something I can do to help. I was totally inconsolable after that happened. I knew I had to do something to protect the people I cared about. Lock on the knob, like corn on the cob. No, stop it. No more. You do not play that game around here. Bitch is gonna bitch. Yes, bitch is they bitch. will. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Keith, my boy. What are you doing jerking off in the hall? What? <laughs> Is that what he does now? who looked out for me there. When people relied on me for the first time, it felt so good. That's why it hurt even more when all I could do was see them off from the port. It's hard when friends... No, they're still with you. Yeah. I'll always hold on to the hope they showed me. Anyway, I still treasure the words they said to me back then. There are things only I can do. I'll help everyone in my own way. Still, if this continues... Boss, core engage testing is for making God Eaters better in combat. Do we really need to archive my resonance area when I've barely fought? Why doubt yourself? I just wondered if you felt that way. I'm sorry, forget it. It's nothing, really. Let's just raise our sink rate. I'll be just fine. Ah, oh, the doubting. The doubting. The doubting! <laughs> Database. Okay. Key three, four, and five. Once I came to Pennywort, I was treated like a useless piece of garbage. My brothers tried to protect me, but I hated that all I could do was apologize. Why was I so garbage. Weak? What could I do to become stronger? The answer never came, no matter how much time passed. There were two older ages who took me under their wing when I was in the port prison. Their parents were affiliated with Fenrir, and they knew a ton about machines and god arcs. I learned a lot from them. They said I might be able to help everyone. Those words became my hope. In the end, the two who placed so much hope in me died in action. Neil was sold to another port. I couldn't take it anymore. If my talent really could help people, then I'd do anything it took to improve it. We're at our sink rate target. We can head deeper in now. I'm all set. We'll be just fine if you're there, boss. His only problem is that he needs a spine. <laughs> you ready? Don't give me silence. Did you go in? <sighs> okay, we're going in then. I'll just take it that you went ahead of me again. <laughs> Let's see here. Damn it. Oh, so you can fix machines. Pretty neat trick for a dog. You've earned a room and food for as long as you're useful. Oh, so this.
This was around the time I was able to repair the port comms equipment. <laughs> the guards who picked on me all the time were relying on me. I hated them, but it still gave me a sense of accomplishment. back. They praised me, counted on me. I finally knew how I could help. And so I... Uh-oh. You gotta stop all the doubting, Keith. You're waiting in origami. Stop the doubting! Still hit it. Uh oh. The voice is back. And this early on. Huh? That voice. It's different than the others. I used to be a pimp and now I'm calling for the man, the advertising man. What the hell? Oh my god, these things are big! They're bigger! Hurry up! Amy, now! Thank you. Jeez. It sounds like a deep part inside of Keith is a bit selfish. It's been a while since we heard that voice. I thought I was ready, but I guess I wasn't at all. Well, maybe it's because I tried too hard to be ready. What happened in... No, you okay. Sorry to worry you. I'm feeling better. Thanks for being here. I thought beforehand about what might happen when we connected. What would my memory nodes be? Trauma? Regret? The stuff I want to keep hidden? It was like I imagined. But my biggest fear was the future, not the past. Resonance area data is supposed to be archived so the observee's abilities can be shared. If you're not afraid of the past, then why are we not traversing the future? That's the whole point, after all. But for me, that means other people will be able to do what I can do. If my knowledge goes out there, someone better than me will come along. I worry that when that happens, I won't have a place anymore. That's not true. Yeah, I know you and everyone else feels that way. But the thought of not being uniquely qualified scares me. It's only momentary, but it's a big obstacle in my resonance area. I tried to be ready to face it, but that only made it harder. I know I can't continue like this, but... We'll find an answer. Thanks. I don't want to run away from my own weakness. Call me whenever you're ready. I'll find my answer. I promise. Hmm. Time to read the next point of his data.
core engage might let me share my skills and knowledge with other god eaters. I understand that it would help them, but can I give away what I've worked so hard for that easily? The thought of it fills me with a feeling I'd rather not put into words. I was scared of being alone. I wanted to feel needed by someone. I was afraid of losing the treasures I'd only just found. A home. Friends. Family. But giving in to my fear would pull them away from me. I want to make sure they can, can all keep smiling. That's why I have to keep moving forward.